Hello and welcome to this next video on uh, reballing ICs. Now in the earlier video, we talked about what is reballing and what are some of the tools and equipments that we used for reballing the IC. In this video, we will try and do an actual reballing of one of the ICs. Now, as we already said, reballing is a process through which you recreate the soldering points which are usually placed under the ICs. Many a times due to continuous usage, some of these points may uh, wear off resulting in uh, uh, the IC not working properly. And in those situations, we use the reballing procedure to try and recreate those soldering points on the back of the ICs and thereby ensure that the fault is rectified on a mobile phone PCB. So first of all, in order to remove the IC, we will use the SMD or hot air gun. Take a tweezer on the other hand so that you can hold the IC properly and use the SMD to warm up or heat up the IC. So when you heat it up, the soldering at the bottom of the IC which connects the IC to the PCB will melt allowing you to remove the IC from the PCB. So with the help of SMD, you will be able to remove any IC which is soldered on to the PCB from the back. These are um, uh, obviously ball ICs which have the tips at the bottom of the IC. Now while you are using the SMD, please ensure that you use the tweezer to hold the IC because the SMD releases hot air and placing your hand can actually impact your hand very badly. Now in order to recreate the um, pattern at the back of the uh, IC, we will use the reballing plate now and the base plate. So the base plate is what you see in front of you and we have already placed the IC in it. These are the reballing uh, plates which have different patterns based on the IC pattern. So when I say IC pattern, what I mean is the pattern of the soldering joints at the back of the IC. So your task is to try and identify the correct pattern on the back of the IC before you do the reballing process. So here in this IC, we've identified the right pattern. And as soon as you identify the right pattern, you need to hold the right pattern exactly on top of the IC and match the pattern with the soldering joints on the IC. This is a slightly uh, delicate process. You need to ensure that they are aligned exactly the same so that the soldering points that we will create now or the reballing process that we do now is done exactly right. So once you have matched them, place the base plate below, hold the um, reballing plate on it and apply a little bit of the reballing paste. Now we saw what a reballing paste is in the earlier video. So use the reballing paste and apply it on it first. Next, we take the soldering paste and apply it on these points. We, we knew what soldering paste is from the earlier video. It's a black color paste that, need, that is what creates the soldering joints on the back of the IC. So we'll use an applying device and take the soldering paste and apply, or apply it on these points. So when you do this process, through the holes, the soldering paste will be placed on the back of the IC. So try it two, three times to ensure that all the holes are properly covered and the paste is applied adequately across all the holes on the IC. Once you have done that, again apply a little more reballing paste to smoothen it up, ensure that the uh, soldering paste is uh, gone, has gone inside these holes. Once you do that, the last step is to use the SMD to warm it up a little more and remove all the extra paste. So hold the uh, hot air gun on top or the SMD nozzle on top 
and try and blow the SMD hot air on it. And as you see, the reboiling paste will melt away and the soldering uh, paste that we applied will stick on to the PCB, uh, to the IC, to the back side of the IC. As you can see, slowly the, the soldering points have been placed on the back of the IC and once it's done, you can use the thinner to clear off any unwanted substance. We knew what a thinner is, so you can sprinkle a little bit of thinner, wipe it out so that any extra um, soldering is removed. You use a small brush to clean up this. Brushing this will also ensure that no two points are joined on the back of the IC. So once you brush them off, any excess soldering will be removed away. And once it's done, you can take off the plate and can very clearly see how the balls have been created in the back of the IC. So as you can see, the uh, IC points are very clear now. And you can now take it out using a tweezer and place it back in the PCB. Use a little more thinner and uh, use the hot air gun to ensure that the points are clearly marked out in the IC. So once the points are made, you, the IC is now ready to be placed back in its original position. Many a times, uh, reboiling is essential when you can't get a replacement IC in the market. And if you have identified that the connecting points are the problem for the IC not functioning, you can use reboiling to ensure that these soldering points are recreated. This way, you will avoid spending a lot of money on purchasing a new IC. So once you have created these points, we will now see how we can place this IC back on the PCB. So let's take the PCB stand, place the PCB in the stand, pick up the IC which has just been reballed using a tweezer. This IC needs to be placed in this position that you see on the screen. Now while you are placing the ICs back on the PCB, you must ensure that they are placed in the right direction. You cannot place these ICs in any direction as you like. So whenever you are removing ICs, please note in which direction the ICs are placed. You may need that information when you are replacing those ICs back on the PCB. Place the IC back on the PCB. Use the tweezers to adjust the position of the IC. The points that we have created on the back of the IC need to ensure that they are directly matched with the connecting points on the PCB. Once you are sure that the IC has been placed in the right position, we will then use the hot air gun to fix it in its position. Note the way we have held the tweezer on top of the IC. This holds the IC in its position and then when we blow the hot air through the SMD, the soldering points that we just created will slightly melt and get affixed to the joints on the mobile PC. After a few seconds, you will realize that uh, the IC is firmly placed on the PCB now and it's in its correct position. Just a word of caution while using the SMD, please ensure that you hold the IC using a tweezer only while you are using the SMD on the IC because the hot air can cause uh, physical damage to you. It's a safety hazard. So the SMD is a very important tool that uh, you will be working with. We've used it in different situations and it's the same tool that we have used in removing ICs as well as replacing ICs on the PCB. So in this video, we really understood how we can remove a P uh, an IC from a PCB, uh, recreate the joints at the back. This entire process is called as reballing. So we learned how to reball the IC and replace the IC back on the PCB of a mobile phone. We do hope you would have learnt this process. We request you to try this, practice it many times before you actually touch a customer's mobile phone because this is a very, very delicate process and you need a lot of experience before you can try this out on a customer's mobile phone. So continue learning. Thank you very much.